Sovereign God, to you belongs our stillness in waiting. To you belongs our song of praise. And to you our vows will be fulfilled in Zion. To you, the one listening intently to our prayers. To you, all people will come. For the matter of our sinful guilt had overwhelmed us. And now, you have forgiven our transgressions. Happy and blessed are those whom you will choose and allow to approach. They will inhabit your courts. They will have enough. They will be satisfied with the best things of your house, your holy temple. With terrible and awe-inspiring deeds, with loyalty, you answer us. God of our deliverance, you are trust. You are hope to the farthest ends of the earth, even unto the remotest of seas. You, who, through your own strength, created the mountains, being clothed in strength, you calm the crashing roar of the seas, the chaotic roar of their waves, and the chaotic turmoil of the nations. And those living at the ends of the earth become awestruck. They tremble at your miraculous signs from where the sun rises to where it sets, from east to west, you cause them to shout for joy. You have paid attention to the earth. You have caused its abundance. You have made it exceedingly rich. The channel of water that Sovereign God provides is full of water. Sovereign God, you have provided the grain, for you have prepared the earth. You thoroughly water the seeded rose, smoothing out the furrows. You soften the ground with an abundance of rain. You bless what grows you have crowned the year with your goodness. Along your paths, abundance flows. Abundance also flows in the pastures of the wilderness, and the hills are enveloped with rejoicing. The meadows are clothed with flocks. The valleys are covered with grain. They shout for joy. Indeed, they sing for it. Thank you.